back. I'm Kate and this is Iran Daily Newsfeed. State run media in Iran reported a fire broke out in one of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Research Center in the west of Tehran on Sunday evening. In a statement, IRGC has claimed that firefighters managed to contain the fire. However, two personnel were killed and the people injured were taken to the hospital. The statement did not indicate the extent of the damage from the blaze or the possible cost. The volume of water behind dams of Khuzestan has run lower than 10%. According to official news agencies, the majority of dams in Iran are rapidly settling as the country has faced drought in the past years. Today in Iran, wetlands have gone into wastelands. A large part of Iran's special Khuzestan is facing a water crisis. Hundreds of cities in Iran are in a state of emergency with a severe water crisis. Officials are working to eliminate water shortages in 8,405 villages and many cities in Iran by water tankers. An official said high inflation rates have led business owners to close their shops or job use conversion. According to the officials, more than 20% of supermarkets in the Iranian capital, Tehran, have been forced to close as the price of consumables and basic needs have been increased up to 400% and the country is facing food shortages. Iranians are fed up with the Ayatollahs and the inflation and high prices they have brought so far. A fact about high and persistent inflation in Iran is that there have not been high inflation rates without high rates of growth of the money supply. Further, the Iranian real has hit its lowest value against the dollar so far as the economy reels. Iran's currency under the clerical ruling has lost over 700% of its value since 2018. 22 years old Iranian Kurdish prisoner Amir Hassan Hatami was killed under torture in Great Tehran Penitentiary. He was killed under severe beatings of beatings to his head by the prison guards. According to the news, the prisoner's body parts, including his toes, were broken when he was kept in jail. Iranian rights activists said this is the second case of a prisoner dying under suspicious circumstances in the Greater Tehran prison and the fourth case in the prisons of Islamic Republic in the past week. Iranian woman died after setting herself on fire in protest of poverty and unpaid wages. Her husband, who works for a municipality in southwestern Iran, has not been paid for months and they were unable to provide basic education needs for their children. And that was all for today. Thank you for the privilege of your time.